Then a week from today, people from all over will come out to run in the Missoula Marathon. But what is often overlooked is the hundreds of volunteers and weeks of preparation it takes to run smoothly. Katie Miller shows us what it takes to get ready for this big event. And you see everything. You, you do. You see the tears. You see the people that are just so excited. They just break on giggles. 800 volunteers are needed to put on the Missoula Marathon. On Sunday, 24 of them picked up trash along the course. Well, I've volunteered for about eight years. Uh, I've done the uh, half marathon uh, for eight years. And this year, uh, in, in March, I got diagnosed with lymphoma cancer. Jay Gore says he has good and bad days. He's not running this year, but he says he felt good enough on cleanup day to help out. Race director Tony Banovich says it was nice to see him. I was really surprised to see him show up. I, I knew he was maybe going to try and do some volunteering, but wasn't sure how he was going to be feeling. Volunteers also do all the setup for water and medical stations. They work all the way until the day after the race. This is Caroline Abbott's 11th year walking in the half marathon. It's also her 10th year cleaning up. Well, I like to volunteer for something to help keep this program going. Abbott and Gore are part of a 45-person walking group that meets every Saturday. For some of them, it's a huge physical challenge. To some of them, it's they're running in memory of somebody. It's maybe it's a spiritual journey for them. You, you never know. And the emotions and the excitement um, and the passion that you see at the finish line is just unmatched. In Missoula, Katie Miller, MTN News. And this is the 13th year of the run, which kicks off next Sunday.